What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Uh, well, not free general collective. It's a um, free reading for the sign of Gemini. This is going to resonate if you have Gemini in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. It's very important to only take the messages that resonate. There's millions and billions of people in the world and tons of Gem Gemini. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. I received um, one channel as I was meditating on your um, energy. And the channel message I received was working on your money, honey. That's what I heard. So I feel at least one of you guys is working on your money, honey. Uh, that's what I feel. Or it could be somebody you're connected to. But I feel it's probably you. Because it's in your reading, Jim and I. So, you're working on your money, honey. Just saying, just saying. So, whoever um, this is for, somebody's working on their money, honey. Just saying, just saying. All right. So, let's get into it. Okay. Well, he laid down. So, I guess we'll do it with the kitty in the reading. All right, dude. You're going to have to move over a little bit. Okay. So, working on your money, honey. Just saying, just saying. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 11,425 subscribers right now. So thanks for supporting a single mama, a two kids income stream. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. This can resonate if you have Gemini and any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or they may have Jupiter charts. Spirit messages you have signed, Gemini. Eight of Swords reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. Let me go turn the light on. I'll be right back. Okay, so much better. Okay, I feel guided to get one more. Spirit messages you have signed, Gemini. Whoa, way too many. Holy crap. Okay, we got the other one out. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. So, Eight of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed. A lot of reversals. A Gemini was all up in their fields previously about a particular fire sign. Not wanting to be with them. Some a fire sign, some a water sign. But they are over that now. Way over it now. Moved on. Some, it was collaboration with a, a, a business idea. Some, it was in the love department. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so moving on energy. Um, Gemini, if this resonates for you, I love moving on energy. Nothing wrong with that, for sure, for sure. So if this resonates for you, um, some of you guys, it was a um, feminine energies. Feminine energies, okay. So for some of you guys, it was a fire sign femme. For some, it was a water sign femme. Some, it was um, love or, or dating or possible relationship or what have you. Um, some kind of romantical department energy and some it was a business collaboration um, wanted to collaborate with this person energy but I heard you you're completely over it you're completely over it now and you've moved on you've healed you moved on you've um, you're you're moving on apparently and you're moving on working on your money apparently so nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that man I mean if it doesn't pan out that's the best course of action is to move on trust me I'm a 38 year old woman 
I've lived a lot of life in my in my time, and that is the best course of action for sure, for sure. So um, kudos to whoever you are. It sounds like you um, you just you know accepted it and you moved on, and that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, it's better for you to do that. I mean, and I'm just serious. So for some, it was a water sign femme. For some, it was a fire sign femme. Now, water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, feminine energy. They could have had uh, could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the many of your Jupiter charts. For some, it's a fire sign femme energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the many of your Jupiter charts. Uh, for some, it was a possible love, romantical connection that you wanted to either reflame or rekindle or start new for some it was a business collaboration you want to start like a business with them i'm presuming or work with them in some kind of work dynamic energy or something of that nature but i heard basically you're over it you're over it um you have no stress anxiety worry fear no mental health vibes over it anymore it sounds like um this fire sign or this water sign theme it's, this is fire sign theme energy, but it could have been the uh, water sign and theme energies, energy too. No desire, drive, motivation towards you. And then Ace of Pentacles reversed. Um, no, no opportunity with this person. You have moved on. Um, I heard for some it was business collaboration or work energy because um, it's Pentacles. But for some, I heard it was love. So you plug it in how it resonates. Or love related, romantic, you know. Could have been casual dating, it could have been committed, or what have you. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, you've moved on from it. You have moved on. Spirit messages you have for sign of Gemini. And apparently working on your money, honey. Just saying. Spirit messages you have for sign of Gemini. In a kitchen is about to become very significant for a particular Gemini. Okay, I heard a house fire in a kitchen. Uh, so some kind of kitchen fire in some shape, form, or fashion um, is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. We had a port apartment fire energy in Pisces. Um, good Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So some kind of house kitchen fire energy. Uh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for sign of Gemini. Okay. Nine of Wands reverse, the Empress reverse, Tower upright. A particular Gemini is about to get a very significant phone call from corporate soon. They're about to be very shocked. Oh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Whoever you are, Gemini. Um, I heard, um, well, whoever you are, you don't work in corporate, I'll tell you that. You don't work in corporate. I think you work in an outlying unit, site, facility, building, etc., etc., outside of corporate i don't think obviously you don't work in corporate but i heard you're about to get a phone call from corporate it's about to shock you whoever this is for uh, whatever gemini this resonates for i feel you work in the 3d um in some company um but it sounds like well i don't know i feel it can go both ways you either work in the 3d and it's your company about to contact you your com your company's corporate about to contact you or you could have been purchasing something and maybe you put a complaint in um, or you contact a corporate for um, for some reason and you don't work there. It's some company that you contact a corporate and they're about to contact you. I feel it could go both ways. You plug it in how it resonates. But either way, I heard you're about to be shocked. There's some kind of corporate um, corporate energy about to contact you. Knight of Wands reverse, the Empress reverse, Tower Upright.
For some Geminis, a Pisces is about to start a lot of trouble in your life. A lot. For some, it is a Leo. Tower moment after tower moment after tower moment after tower moment coming. Beware. Oh my goodness. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, it's an Aries. For some, it's an Aries. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my gosh. So whoever you are, Jim and I, um, if this message resonates with you, some it's a um, Pisces, some it's a Leo, some it's an Aries. They could have Pisces. Air, um, Leo or Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or through many of our Jupiter charts. But I heard um, they're about to start causing tower after tower after tower moment in your life. Beware. It's like spiritual warning. Beware. And this hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. It could be masculine or feminine, Pisces, Aries, or Leo. They could have Pisces, Aries, or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or through many of your Jupiter charts. For some of you guys, it could be one person about to do this. For some, it could be two plus, but I heard Pisces, Aries, or Leo. Um, and for some, it could be one person with all those in their charts, in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here, Jupiter. You plug it in, how it resonates, but Pisces, Aries, Leo, energy strong. Um, wow. I heard tower after tower after tower moment. For some of these Geminis, it is well-deserved. For some, it is not at all. Confirmation. Come on, baby. And that's my intuitive kitty, too. It's not fat boy. Come on, baby. So for some of you guys, these, these are well-deserved towers. For some, they're not. Now, towers, okay, the tower looks very scary. Um, but it can, tower is a life-altering event that changes the course of one's life. It can either be positive or negative. So for some of you guys, I feel it could be positive towers. For some, it could be negative towers. For some of you guys, it's well-deserved towers. For some, it's not. But I feel it could go on the positive spectrum or the negative spectrum, depending on, you know, the choices you've made in life, the choices these people are about to make in life, the choices that have been made in life, basically. Um, however, that resonates. For some, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, because this is Scorpion energy, or not. If you are, they could have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or them in here, Jupiter charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, for some, it's a Pisces. For some, it's a Leo. For some, it's a Aries. Uh, you plug it in, how it resonates. A particular Gemini feminine is about to find out about a third party situation. Fire sign, masculine, husband. It is about to piss them off in a huge way. Oh my God. Whoa. Gemini Femme, whoever you are. Uh, you're a Gemini Femme. You're married. You're legally married. I'll tell you that. And um, to a fire sign masculine. So to an Aries Leo Sagittarius masculine energy. They could have Aries Leo or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here with Jupiter. But I heard you're about to find out about a third party. And it's about to piss you off. So some kind of sneaky link, third party situationship. You're about to find out about the other woman, basically. Um, or other man. Other woman or other man. And to me, that could go into this too. Um, because... No desire, no drive, no motivation for you, your husband. Um, in this situation, no desire, no drive, no motivation. Third party energy, um, right there, Empress reversed. There, uh, slight home record energy, right there. And then um, Tower is finding out about the third party energy. Um, if that particular message resonates for you, Gemini Fem, it's a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine husband. They have some kind of third party energy. Uh, you're about to find out about it. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my gosh. Spirit messages you have time, Gemini. A particular Gemini is about to find out about a credit card bill soon. A huge credit card bill. They are about to be pissed. It, there is no way it's going to be able to be paid off anytime soon. Not even the minimal payment. Oh my God, this is, whoa, jeez. Lord have mercy. Oh, that's, oh no, nay, nay. Um, nay, nay. Um, nay, nay. 
whoever you are, Gemini, if this resonates for you, I don't think you racked up this credit card bill uh, from the spiritual download. I don't think you did. I think it's somebody that has access to this credit card did. Um, now, it could be a child if you ha have given them access to the credit card, or it could be a family member if you've given them access, or a spouse or a committed partner. But somebody that has access to this credit card that was not you, I'll tell you that, because uh, you're about to find out about the bill. Um, and I heard it's so large that the minimal payment will not even be able to be made. So, I mean, I'm wondering if it's like 10000 20000 I mean, I didn't hear a specific amount. But dear God, I'm already. Um, and oh, that's, oh my God, no. That, ooh. It is about to create negative, very huge negative series of chain of events. Things are about to have to be sold. The mortgage is questionable. Oh my Lord, this good God. I heard it's about to create negative series of chain of events. The mortgage is about to be questionable. So the mortgage is about to be questionable, meaning I don't know if you, I feel you might not be able to pay your mortgage because of somebody, it wasn't you, but somebody racked up a huge ass credit card bill. And I mean, I'm not feeling it's $500. I'm not feeling it's $300. I'm feeling like $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. And I didn't hear the specific amount. That's just what I'm feeling. I heard it's so bad, the mortgage will be questionable. So I mean, and the minimal payment will not be able to be made. I mean, Lord, that's terrible. So whoever that's for, I do not wish that upon anybody. But whoever that's for, that is Gemini's that's for, you didn't do it. It's somebody that you have given access to this credit card. They have done it. And you're about to find out. Oh, God. The hang woman reverse, ten of pentacles upright, the hierophant upright. A Taurus is running the streets again. Making a lot, a lot, a lot of money doing it. You're about to find this out. However, one of these Tauruses will be arrested soon. They're going to spend most of the money they have made on the streets on bail money. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. So Taurus energy strong. Um, it could be masculine or thin Taurus. They could have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Whoever this Taurus is in your life, Gemini, you have to plug them in how it resonates. But I heard they're running the streets again. Um, so, and I heard they're making a hell of a lot of money doing it. And they're pulling Ten of Pentacles upright. This is Taurus's energy down here on Billing. They're pulling Ten of Pentacles. They're making a hell, I mean, Ten of Pentacles is equal to like great fortune in the Kipper. And I'm serious. So whatever they're doing. Um, it could be drugs, it could be sex trafficking, it could be uh, child sex trafficking. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear specifically what it is. You plug it into your own specific situation, how it resonates. You know this Taurus, though, so I think you know what they're doing on the streets. And I'm serious about that. So I think you know what the hell they have. I think they've done it previously, and they're doing it again. Um, so I think you know what they're doing on the streets, whatever it is, whether it's drugs, sex trafficking, um, uh child sex trafficking, um, dark web energy, what have you. Uh, I think you know what they're doing. But I heard one of these Tauruses, they're about to be arrested soon. They're about to be arrested and spend most of their money um, on bail money to get out. So, and I heard arrested again. So they, whoever this Taurus is, they have been, they have a record, a arrest record, either of one time or two plus times of arrest. Um, so you have to plug this person in however they resonate. I heard you're about to find it out, though, um, that they're running the streets and they're making all this money. Um, so you have not been enlightened of the situation yet, but you're about to be. That's why Hangwoman uh, is reversed, because you are not enlightened of it yet, but you're about to. This is all the money this Taurus is making uh, street side illegally. I feel heavy criminal uh, behavior here. And then the Hierophant Upright, this is your Taurus. Uh, for some, you could be married to them or be in the illegal business with, well, I don't feel you're in the illegal business with them, not this, 
because I heard you're um, about to find out they're running the streets again. So, yeah, um, this is Taurus energy. For some, you could be married to them or in a relationship or a sneaky link or a third party or what have you. Some, you could be the baby mama or baby daddy. You plug it in how it resonates. Or it could just be someone you are platonically connected to. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, let's pull a tea leaf and then we'll close it. A particular Leo femme is about to completely change their life and their look. It is about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So Leo feminine energy, spirit messages you have sign of Gemini. Uh, Leo feminine energy, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, Hater, Jupiter charts. Um, I heard that Leo Femme is about to completely change their life and their look, and it's about to completely shock the hell out of you. So whoever this Leo Feminine is, is in your life, you have to plug the Leo Femme in how they resonate in your own particular life. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and image of your charts. But I heard they're about to change their complete their life and their look. So their look, I think their external appearance, um, maybe they um, change their hairstyle, hair color, uh, maybe they get a tattoo or tattoos. Maybe they get a piercing or piercings. Maybe they lose weight. Uh, maybe they gain weight. Maybe they um, add something pizzazzy to their body um, in some shape, form, or fashion um, and their life. So not only their look, maybe they change their style. Um, but it's not only their external. They're about to change their life too. So... I'm feeling financial. I'm feeling maybe moving. Um, maybe one or all those things. But I heard look in life. So, I mean, they're about to make huge changes in their look and their life. Heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So, wh whoever this Leo feminine is to you. Spirit messages you have for, for the collective. It could be a person in your past. It could be a ex-wife, ex-husband, current wife, current husband. Um... Family friend, family member, neighbor, friend, co-worker, whoever. Spirit messages you have sign of Gemini. Carrot and bear, opportunity or windfall, bear, danger, especially in money matters. So, you know, I, I got the spiritual download about the um, credit card bill for at least one of you guys. So I think this is definite credit card bill energy. I mean, it's about to be so bad for one of you guys. The mortgage is about to be questionable as far as being paid here. Um, so I definitely think this goes with the credit card message for sure. A credit card bill message. Danger, especially in money matters. And then you have carrot, opportunity, or windfall. For one particular Gemini, a Taurus is going to offer you some of this money. It would not be smart because one of these Tauruses is about to be heavily be investigated. They are under heavy fire right now. Okay, so you, oh Lord. 
So whoever that message is for, I feel it piggybacks off that previous, this previous message. I do, but you plug in your own life, how it resonates. There's some tourist that um, has a history of running the streets. And I, I mean, I feel like drug dealer energy or child sex trafficker energy or child human trafficking energy or something that produces a lot of damn money on the streets. It could be prostitution for some of them, um, but, or pimp energy or something. But however that resonates, I feel it piggybacks is what I'm saying. Because I heard a tourist is about to offer you some of their money. But it would not be smart to take it because they're about to be under heavy investigation. So I think it's this tourist that's about to, that's running the streets again, gaining the Ten of Pentacles. And I'm serious about that. So, of course, you can uh, heed the spiritual advice or not. But I do strongly feel it's that same tourist, a masculine or femme tourist. And I'm serious about that. But you plug it in how it resonates. I heard they're going to offer you some of the money. Well, it's dirty ass money. Um, so in this instance, it is not a good opportunity um, it might look nice with all the hundreds flowing out probably when this tourist offers you this money, but is it very smart when you get a phone call or a knock at your door from an investigator or the police or the sheriff's office or, um, the feds or marshals? I don't think so. I wouldn't want that, but you plug it in how it resonates. So in this case, this is like a false opportunity or windfall in that particular situation, but you plug it in how it resonates. One particular Gemini is about to get an opportunity to go back to school. One particular Gemini is about to get a scholarship. Oh, that's beautiful. So, okay. So one of you guys is about to get an opportunity to go back to school and one of you guys is going to get a scholarship. So that is the opportunity or windfall too. Uh, scholarship energy and uh, opportunity to go back to school. Well, that's beautiful. So that's legit right there. The first one was not legit. You know that song, Too Legit to Quit? Not legit, you guys, not legit. Just saying, just saying. But um, congrats for the person or people that's about to get the scholarship and the uh, person or people that's about to get the opportunity to go back to school. Um, that's beautiful. Bear, danger, especially money matters. I explained where I think the credit card bill, that definitely fits in with this for sure. One particular Gemini, the uh, court hearing, current court battle right now, the court hearing is about to speed up very quickly. There is about to be a specific ruling in this court hearing. You're going to have to end up having to pay a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money in this court hearing. You are going to be pissed, beware. Whoa. And other significant events will occur from this court hearing. It is not going to go the way you think it's going to go. Oh my Lord. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So there's a Gemini in a specific court battle, current court battle right now. Uh, this could be you or somebody you're connected to. But it's somebody, whoever you are, Gemini, you're in a current court battle. So that could be custody. That could be um, some other kind of legal battle. That could be, um, I think, custody battle. I think current. Uh, what else could it be? Um, it could be any kind of legal battle. Any kind of legal battle. Um, it could be any legal battle. Any legal battle. I'm trying to think. I'm getting a blank. But it's some kind of legal battle. Whatever in the world it is. Um it could be lawsuit energy. It could be lawsuit energy. It could be um, something else, something else. But it's a current legal battle. But I heard basically you're going to have to end up paying out a lot more money. Basically, it should have enough money. It sounds like you did not expect to pay in this um, legal battle um, for some kind of significant court ruling coming soon. It sounds like the legal battle has been stalemated or delayed or... Um, like at a snail's pace, but it's about to speed up. Um, but some kind of, it's, when it speeds up, there's some kind of significant ruling that's going to occur during this. And it sounds like you're going to have to pay out part of, basically a shit ton of money that you did not expect to have to pay out and other 
significant happenings in this court uh, battle with this ruling that you uh, you didn't expect. I heard it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. So danger and money matters. Um, danger, especially money matters, is this significant court ruling having to sounds like shell out a very, 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 very large amount of money that you didn't expect to have to shell out, basically. Um, and some other kind of um, significant ruling or rulings that's going to occur in this court battle that you didn't expect. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Gemini. I feel guided to pull at least one kipper for some reason. So I'm going to, hold on a second. A particular younger Gemini is about to get a dream of a, a dream job of a lifetime. It'd be very, very smart to take this job and this opportunity and really manifest it into something beautiful for yourself. 25 and below. Holy crap, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. So if you, this resonates for you. I feel you could be a masculine or a femme Gemini. I heard 25 or below. So if this particular message resonates for you, you're 25 or below. And um, you, um, I heard you're about to get offered a dream job of a lifetime. So I think whatever dream job of a lifetime it is to you, everybody has different idea, ideal and ideals of what their dream job, job of a lifetime is. So whatever that is for you, you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard it'd be very spiritual download on that. Um, is it be very smart to manifest it and grow it to make it work for you and to make it work for you, basically. Um, that could be the opportunity or windfall too in that situation. And maybe you're having money issues right now, but it sounds like possibly it's about to change your life, like life changing energy. Um, but it sounds like this job, if you grow and manifest it correctly, it can lead into wonderful opportunities, bigger, much bigger, better things down the line. So congrats. I heard you're 25 or below, whoever you are, masculine or femme. Congrats, congrats. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Okay, so concern reverse number 33 can be a very significant number in one's life, number 33. It can be a possible age of viewers by you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 33, concern reversed. A particular Gemini is about to energetically cut off a lot of people. They're about to realize who the real ones are and the real ones aren't. Okay. Well, you go with your bad self, Gemini, if this resonates for you. Um, I heard you, whoever this is for, uh, masculine or femme, I heard you're about to cut off people in your life. So you're about to separate yourself from person, people, place, situations, etc. It sounds like in this situation, people. Um, it sounds like for a lot of you guys, it's two plus people. It sounds like people that aren't helping growing and manifesting you. Um, they're not helping you get up in life. They help push you down or they don't want you to get up in life. So, and you realize that, so you're going to cut them out. You're going to cut them out so you can get yourself up in life. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's really not whoever you are. Kudos to you. So you're not concerned. You're not going to be concerned, basically. You're about to, it sounds like you're about to wash your hands of people that do not help grow and manifest you properly, basically. They don't pour into your cup. They like to take from your cup, whoever that's for. Um, so you're about not to be concerned with the situation or situations with these, um, it sounds like energy vampires, um, energy succubus energies, and you're about to um, wash your hands of them. You're about to focus on yourself, self-care. And you're about to um, focus on you, honey boo boo. And there's nothing wrong with that. There, real, I mean, there truly is not. As long as you're not, you know, un unsympathetic, unempathetic, and 
like a narcissist or a sociopath. You know, you have to, if you can't love yourself, you can't love others. And that's the truth. So, you know, um, that's the truth. So kudos to um, whoever that's for. I feel you're highly intuitive. And I think you have picked up on the fact that these person or people don't want what's best for you. I feel they're trying to hold you back in some shape, form, or fashion. And you're about to realize it. Or you have realized it. However that resonates. All right. Something very, very significant is about to happen with a Gemini spouse soon. It's about to create severe alarm in them. Very serious. Some it's with their career. Some it's a medical concern. Some it's a third party. Okay. Oh, a lot of you guys are married. I'll tell you that. Um, we have some, I feel some single energy, but a lot of you guys are married. So you plug it in how it resonates. So Gemini spouse energy. Um, some of you guys, it's, it's concerned with their, with your spouse. So in this situation, it's concerned upright. So you're concerned with your spouse. Some of you guys, I heard it's their career. Some, it is a third party. And we pulled in that third party energy of the Gemini femme and the fire sign masculine with the third party earlier. Um, and for some, it is medical issues, uh, medical concerns. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, I heard it's going to create severe alarm in you. Uh, so it, it's something serious. It's not minor, I'll tell you that. Um, third parties are not minor. And I'm being serious about that. Um, they're not, in my opinion. Of course, everybody has different viewpoints. but um, And some kind of career concern. But this isn't you, it's your spouse, if this resonates with you. It is your spouse, not you. Some kind of career concern of your spouse, some kind of third party energy of your spouse. And for some, it is um, some kind of medical condition or concern of your spouse. However, that resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices and namaste.